In a world where the line between science and the supernatural blurs, lies the enigmatic realm of parapsychology. Imagine a universe where psychic phenomena aren't just the stuff of legends, but subjects of rigorous scientific inquiry. Enter Dean Radden, a visionary in a world unseen, a man who dares to challenge the boundaries of reality. Radden, a vanguard of the inexplicable, embarks on a journey to demystify the mysteries of telepathy, psychokinesis, and the very essence of psychic phenomena. Armed with scientific rigor and an unyielding quest for truth, his groundbreaking research defies convention, ignites debates and redefines the fabric of our understanding. Prepare to dive into the depths of the unknown to a place where science meets the paranormal, where Raiden's quest brings us face to face with the mysteries of the human mind. This is not just a story, it's an exploration of the greatest frontier yet to be conquered, the human consciousness. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of parapsychology with Dean Rodden, and explore how the impossible can become possible. Before we delve into the science, let's get to know the man behind it all, Dean Radin. Born in the 60s, Radin's journey into the world of the unknown began with a double major in electrical engineering and classical violin from the University of Massachusetts, Amherst. His inquisitive mind then led him to earn a master's in electrical engineering and a PhD in psychology. His professional journey is as diverse as his educational background. He has worked in telecommunications, engineering, and even concert violin. But it was his fascination with the human mind and its untapped potential that led him to the intriguing field of parapsychology. Today he serves as the chief scientist at the Institute of Noetic Sciences and has published over 250 articles on parapsychology. But what sets him apart is not just his academic credentials or his professional accomplishments, it's his unrelenting pursuit of understanding the mysteries of the human mind. Raiden's key contributions to the field of parapsychology have been groundbreaking, to say the least. His studies on psychic phenomena such as telepathy and psychokinesis have pushed the boundaries of our understanding of reality. His work has often involved the use of random number generators in psi experiments to ensure unpredictability, and he has rigorously tested and addressed autocorrelations and sequence guessing to ensure validity. He has also been a strong advocate for independent replication in psi research to further establish validity and reliability. Raiden's work has not only challenged our understanding of reality, but also sparked significant debates in the scientific community. But more on that later. For now, let's delve deeper into his research and the discoveries that have made him a central figure in the world of parapsychology. Dean Raiden's research has been nothing short of revolutionary. But what exactly has he discovered? In the realm of the unknown, Raiden has been a beacon of light tirelessly investigating the intriguing field of parapsychology. His research has reshaped our understanding of psychic phenomena, pushing the boundaries of science as we know it. One of Radden's key contributions is his exploration of psi phenomena, which encompasses psychic or paranormal activities like telepathy and psychokinesis. Radden's work has been grounded in the rigorous methodology of empirical science. He's used random number generators in his experiments to ensure unpredictability, a cornerstone of scientific validity. One of Dean Radin's notable experiments delved into the intriguing realm of human consciousness and its potential influence on these random number generators, RNGs. In this study, participants were asked to focus their intention on RNGs with the aim of swaying their output. Fascinatingly, the results suggested that human intention could indeed alter the randomness of these devices, a finding that was statistically significant and defied conventional scientific wisdom. This experiment not only challenged the traditional understanding of randomness and the non-physical nature of consciousness, but also sparked considerable debate within the scientific community. Critics raised questions about experimental design and reproducibility, while proponents saw it as a pivotal exploration into the interplay between mind and matter. The findings, steeped in both scientific and philosophical implications, thus played a significant role in shaping the field of parapsychology and opened up broader discussions on the nature of consciousness and its relationship with the physical world. Dean Radin's research portfolio extends into the complex and often debated concept of free will, particularly in its relation to the deterministic laws of physics and the intricacies of human consciousness. 
In a world where every event is seemingly governed by physical laws, the question arises, can free will truly exist, or are our choices merely the result of predetermined physics and neural processes? Through his exploration in parapsychology, Rodin confronts this dichotomy. His work delves into phenomena such as the potential influence of human intention on random events, which could imply a degree of autonomy against the strict causality of physics. This line of inquiry challenges the traditional view of a mechanistic universe, suggesting that consciousness might play a more active role than previously thought. Radin's research brings to light the possibility that free will and determinism might coexist in a more nuanced interplay than the binary choice of one or the other. His findings propose that while we operate within the bounds of physical laws, there may be aspects of consciousness and human experience that transcend these limitations, hinting at a more complex model of reality where free will finds its place. However, this perspective is not without its controversies, as it stretches the conventional understanding of physics and has sparked much debate among scientists and philosophers alike. The implications of Radin's work are profound, prompting us to reconsider our understanding of free will, determinism, and the role of consciousness in shaping our reality. But perhaps what truly distinguishes Dean Radin in the field of parapsychology is his steadfast dedication to objectivity and scientific rigor. Despite venturing into areas often considered controversial and fringe by the mainstream scientific community, Radin has demonstrated a commendable commitment to maintaining a critical and skeptical mindset. This approach is evident in his meticulous experimental designs, which often include robust control conditions and sophisticated statistical analyses to rigorously test his hypotheses. Radin's adherence to these scientific principles is not just a nod to conventional methodologies, but a conscious effort to elevate the credibility and acceptance of his work in parapsychology. He has been proactive in addressing potential biases and methodological flaws, often engaging with critics and skeptics to refine his experiments. This openness to critique and dedication to improving his research methods have been instrumental in establishing and maintaining the quality and integrity of his studies. Moreover, Radin's balanced approach, blending open-mindedness with skepticism, has helped bridge the gap between unconventional psychic research and the broader scientific discourse, fostering a more inclusive and comprehensive exploration of these enigmatic phenomena. Despite facing criticism, his work has consistently strived to adhere to the principles of scientific inquiry, contributing to a deeper, more nuanced understanding of the human mind and its capabilities. Rodin's work pushes the boundaries of what we consider possible, inviting both awe and skepticism. His research then is not just about exploring the unknown, it's about challenging our understanding of reality itself, asking us to question what we think we know. As with any groundbreaking research, Radin's work has faced its fair share of criticism. Debates about Radin's work and parapsychology as a whole are not uncommon. Many question the very premise of psychic phenomena, pointing to a lack of concrete evidence. Critics argue that the existence of psychic abilities contradicts established laws of physics and biology. Yet it's important to remember that science is a constantly evolving field. What we consider impossible today may become plausible tomorrow as our understanding of the universe expands. Critics also point out that the methods Radin uses in his research, such as random number generators, are often subject to autocorrelations and sequence guessing. On the flip side, there are those who have replicated Radin's experiments and achieved similar results. These independent replications add considerable weight to the evidence. Even some highly skeptical professors have found themselves unable to deny the robustness of Radin's results when they've attempted to reproduce them. The role of skepticism in scientific inquiry cannot be overstated. It keeps researchers accountable, urging them to maintain rigorous standards of evidence. Radin's work, whether you agree with it or not, has undeniably invited this healthy skepticism. Parapsychology's critics also question its empirical nature. They argue that psychic phenomena, by their very nature, can't be objectively measured or observed. In response, Radin and others in the field have stressed the importance of empiricism, using rigorous design and statistical analysis to obtain robust results. In the end, the controversies surrounding Radin's work reflect larger debates about the nature of knowledge and reality. They force us to question our assumptions and push the boundaries of what we consider possible. Whether you find yourself skeptical or intrigued, there's no denying the impact of Radin's work. Parapsychology, despite its controversial nature, continues to push the boundaries of our understanding. 
The scientific community has had mixed reactions to this field. On one hand, there's skepticism, stemming from the inability to fully reproduce parapsychological phenomena in controlled experiments. On the other hand, there's fascination, as parapsychology challenges the conventional understanding of human capabilities and the nature of reality itself. Drawing parallels with other scientific fields we see a similar pattern. Quantum physics for example was once regarded with skepticism due to its counterintuitive principles. Yet, as the scientific community continued to explore and experiment, it eventually became a fundamental theory in physics. Could parapsychology be on a similar trajectory? The future of parapsychology is intriguing. As technology advances and our understanding of the human mind deepens, new opportunities for research and discovery open up. With his relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding, Dean Radin is likely to play a significant role in shaping this future. His work has already laid a foundation for parapsychology, and his ongoing research continues to push the boundaries of what we consider possible. The field is ripe for exploration, and Radin's work invites us to question, to investigate, and to remain open to the possibilities. His studies may raise more questions than they answer, but isn't that the nature of scientific inquiry? In the words of the great physicist Richard Feynman, the pleasure is in finding things out. The future of parapsychology remains a mystery, much like the phenomena it studies, but one thing is certain, Dean Radden will continue to be at the forefront of this exploration. As we conclude our journey into the world of Dean Radin and parapsychology, it's time to reflect. The world of psychic phenomena, as presented by Radden, challenges our perceptions of reality and questions the boundaries of human potential. It's a realm that defies conventional wisdom and invites us to probe deeper into the mysteries of consciousness. Radin's work, rigorous and thought-provoking, has sparked intense debate and skepticism, yet it stands as a testament to the spirit of scientific inquiry. It nudges us to question, explore, and understand the universe from a broader perspective. It teaches us that the pursuit of knowledge is not confined to the physical and observable, but extends into the realms of the subjective and intangible. As we ponder over these uncanny phenomena, it's crucial to remember that the essence of science lies in curiosity, exploration, and the quest for truth. So let's keep our minds open, our questions ready, and our thirst for knowledge unquenched. What do you think about psychic phenomena and Dean Radin's work? We invite you to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments.